This SAT math strategy saves my students precious minutes on the exam, and I don't know why teachers don't teach it this way. We have a typical quadratic problem. Anytime you see launched vertically and it gives you time and height, you are most likely dealing with a quadratic formula problem. The form of the quadratic that you're going to use for this specific problem is this form right here. H is equal to AT squared plus BT plus C because they give us the height and they give us the time and we know that it's a quadratic formula. The easiest way to do this problem is to most importantly find points in the problem statement and then plug it into the original equation that we just figured out right here. We know that at time is equal to 5, h is equal to 100. And we know that when time is equal to 10, then h is equal to 30. Now, however, there is also one point that the problem does not explicitly tell you. It says that we start on the ground before anything even happens. So if nothing has happened yet and it's on the ground, the h is equal to 0. And the time is equal to zero because we have not done anything yet. This is the initial starting point and this is the initial height. Now we know we can plug these values into the equations and solve for one of our constants. Which one you think? It's gonna be C, here's why. Because we're gonna do when H is equal to zero, time is equal to T. So then for the zero, all we need to do is plug in the zero right there for T. So zero is equal to zero. That means that C is equal to zero. That's the first step you need to do for this problem. So now we still need to solve for A, and now we still need to solve for B. If you have two unknowns, that means you need to have two equations to solve for those unknowns, okay? One for one. Let's use the first equation, and we don't need to write the C anymore, because remember, we don't need to use it, because we know it's zero. At this point, we have a 100. Now, we use this one, so we don't need to use this one anymore. Now, for the next equation, all we need to do is just plug this in, same thing. So we have so that means the 300. So notice something, we have two equations for two unknowns. All you need to do to solve for A and B, use either substitution or elimination. The easiest way to do this is just plug these bad boys into Desmos and call your A is equal to X and then call your B is equal to Y. Now you're gonna see that once you plug it into Desmos, it's gonna look like this up here and you're gonna see that the intersection point is two comma 10, which means that your A is two and your B is 10. So now we have all of the constants that we need to solve for H when T is equal to 15. So all we need to do is just plug A and B back into the equation. So we have H is equal to 15. So once you put this all into a calculator, you should get H is equal to 600. If you wanna master time-saving math shortcuts that add 100 plus points to your math section in only six weeks, I break down exactly how to do it in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word shortcuts on my Instagram or Facebook page and I'll send it to you for free.